You think he, she was in the jungle for five or ten years, basically alone except for some monkeys? My mama, she was born in 1950s Colombia and she was one of the many kids in that era that got kidnapped. Mum's story went a bit different to what I think most of the others did. What happened? Well, her kidnapping ended in her being abandoned into a jungle. So how on earth did she survive? With the company of monkeys and her following how they survive in the jungle, not survive, live, she survived learning off them how to eat, how to crack a nut open, where water is. Based on her bones, we checked her age. Based on her memory of her hair length, we've identified she was in the jungle maybe between five and ten years. Can I just close my jaw? I mean, <laughs> that is the most unbelievable thing. I know it sounds crazy, and it's like if I was to hear a story of someone saying my mum got raised by kangaroos, I'd be like, whatever. I'm, I'm a skeptical as well, but. In her blood, there's so many jungle diseases that they've found that are dormant, and they're like, that doesn't exist anywhere other than the jungles of North Colombia. And so. How did she eventually make her way out of the jungle? After, after so many years where she totally thought she was a monkey, she forgot she was human, some hunters came. Well, they eventually then took her and, and put her in a truck full of other captured animals, like other monkeys and parrots and butterflies. They eventually sold her. She was sold to what we now know is a brothel house. Oh, my gosh. But luckily, she was so feral that they couldn't use her because she was so wild, so they used her as a, a slave. And I, I wanted to collect the information because well, it's my family story. And then eventually, I was like, Mum, this is a book, you know? It became a little bigger than we expected for a little Bradford household, you know? We suddenly got the Sunday Times taking pictures of my dad with his carton of milk in his barber jacket. <laughs> it was a bit of a whirlwind. National Geographic made a documentary on it and did a lot of tests on her. And, and they all came out to help prove who she was. So the gap in the story is how did she end up coming from Colombia to Britain? Eventually she got adopted off the streets and that family were in the textile business and had a contact in Bradford, which was the capital of the wool industry yeah. in the 70s. And so they went over there. They were meant to all go back, but Mum fell in love with my dad across a church hall, and and then and I'm, I'm here. <laughs> I mean, everything about it is just mind blowing. I think what's so weird is that this very exotic story happened in the jungles of Colombia, but she ended up in Bradford, and I wonder what her mother now makes of Vanessa living out here, single woman, living alone, in a country that some people still feel as a, has a dangerous side to it.